Okay guys, so uh, we're gonna board this coyote here. Uh, bear with me if uh, a few things aren't right in focus. This is a big critter and I'm trying to keep everything in the camera. So anyway, uh, what I've got is uh, I've got this coyote uh, on my coyote board. These are homemade pine uh, split board coyote boards. Okay, I've got them on fur side in. We're gonna board him fur side in first and then uh, after he dries a little bit, then we're gonna flip him first side out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our coyote here and uh, bring his back legs down and just for a presentation aspect take a pair of scissors here and just uh, just make a nice clean cut straight across. We're going to do that to both legs here. Okay next what we're going to do is simply just take and you can either use pins or staples. Uh, we're just going to take two pins there and we're going to put put a pin in each corner of the foot or the leg rather. Pan it out of our board. With these being split boards uh, I'll pin it out and then I'll split the board open and then I'll make sure he's good and centered up. So just do that here quick. Okay. Now you can see we've got him. He's good centered up. All right. Now I'll take and I'll open the board. And that board's nice and open. Okay. We'll make sure he's good and centered back up again. Because this will set the coyote. So he's good and centered up. All right, next what we're going to do is we're going to take his tail here. We're going to make sure it's centered up right in the board. It looks nice. And then right on each side of the tail on the flanks here, we're going to take a pin. And we're going to put a pin in there. There's no stretching a coyote. You're going to get what you're going to get for him. Okay, next, uh, we've got the tail here, and what we're going to do is we're going to put a little borax in the tail, uh, just because it's already split, but we want to make sure we get it good dry. So I've got some 20 mule team borax here. You can either just dump it in there, or what I like to do is just leave it out, and uh, the moisture gets to it, and it gets these little clumps here, and you can break them up, and then take them little clumps and, and rub a... Rub the tail down on the inside with that borax. Any place where you got a crease. Okay. Next, we're going to come here. Let's see. Come here to the uh, the front arms. Now you can see our arms are real long. They're going to be end up inside the the animal. So you can see we've got a. That's kind of his elbow right there. That's plenty long. We'll take our scissors and just cut right on this side. So that elbow you can see right there, that's fine. Okay, next. Since this will be hanging like this and it'll be skin on skin, we want to make sure that we put a little borax right there. Just so that'll dry real good. Okay. Now then, we'll come here, come here to the uh, the lower jaw. We cut a lot of the lower lip off on the skinning process, but we're just going to trim it up, make it look real nice. You can see this lip right here; that's not needed. So we just kind of pull it up where it becomes taut with the board, right in that area. We'll just take, we'll just remove that. We're removing this basically because it, it's a thick piece of the skin it, it'll take a long time to dry and there's no use for it so run that up you can see that gives a nice clean clean cut presentation there all right finally we'll flip him around here uh, for the ears because we removed the cartilage here we've got a nice 
floppy piece of skin to deal with. So we're going to pin these forward and then uh, whenever we flip them, we'll flip the ears out and then pin them forward also. So we'll just take a little borax here, since that'll be skin on skin, and we'll rub that down. And then we'll take our ear and it'll come right about to the eye hole there. And we're going to take usually three pins. That's how I do mine. You get one right here, one on the side, make a triangle out of them basically. You know, borax is okay on canines, but you don't want to use borax on your, your coons or uh, beaver or, you know, muskrats or anything like that. But borax is fine. It's acceptable to be used on, uh, on your canines. So we've got both ears here tacked out. Now these ears... I'm not going to put any borax here because they'll be the first to dry. If we get them too dry, then sometimes it's difficult to get them through the flip. So we'll just take and right there at that crease, rub a little bit more borax on them. And then that's basically it, guys. Uh, that coyote's boarded. We're just going to hang his tail down. There's no, uh, no pinning it out or anything. It'll dry nice. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're just going to hang him up here, and in my shop it takes overnight, I'm doing this at night, and what I usually do is, uh, the next morning before I go to work, I'll come out and I'll flip this coyote first side. You don't want to let him go too long, or else it's a pain to flip him, uh, you know, and basically he'll end up, like this coyote here, he'll end up fur out on the board, and we'll put him on the, on the board and, uh, let him finish drying. So, uh... Like I said, my shop's about 55, 60 degrees. You know, it's going to take 10, 12 hours. And uh, we'll get back with you there in the morning, and we'll flip this coyote. All right, guys. So uh, it's the next morning here. Uh, we're going to flip this coyote. You can tell. You hear that? Uh, that that hide's got, got dry. Uh, you can see right here, for the most part, a lot of this is dry here, except for uh, under the arms here where that, those arms are hanging down, that's fine. We're going to put some borax on there uh, whenever we flip it. And then whenever we flip it, we're going to put the arms up. So we're going to flip this coyote out here quick. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is just take it and, uh, like I said, give these under the arms here just a, another good rub down with some borax. And then... Uh, just while we've got it here, I'm going to give the, uh, the tail just another quick. All right, now simply we'll just pull the pins we've got there in his uh, backside. Go to the legs. Pull those pins. That's why I like split boards here. Uh, you don't have to fight them. We'll just take our our nail out of our split board that closes that board lets that coyote come off real easy we'll pull the pins we've got here in his ears and then we're gonna flip these ears down and you can see they need a little bit of attention or a little bit of borax just because they're pinned up we'll rub some borax on there all right, now we'll just simply take our coyote off our board here. Let me see if I can get this in the camera for you. Okay, now we've got our coyote. You can either roll him uh, with the head in and flip him, or you can start at the bottom. I personally just start uh, at the bottom. I always have. You know, coyote's got a long snout. Uh, it's just the way you pick a, pick away. Now you're simply just going to roll them inside out. You can hear that hide's kind of a crackling noise. Just about right. You don't want to let it go too far. And to roll this coyote this way, all I'm doing is taking my hand, going in there and grabbing a hold of the fur and then just pulling on it. And it's just like, uh, just like turning a sock inside out. 
So we've got them up here. See, it goes pretty quick. Coming up to the head here, sometimes you just gotta kind of situate things to get it to pull through. There's his head come through there. Our ears, we're gonna pull them through here to the uh, the proper side. You can see there, they've dried substantially overnight. They look nice. All right, now. Roll his nose out. Now what we're gonna do, kind of get him back, back lined up a little bit here. And then I just like to take him and grab him right by the head. Just kind of snap him a time or two. Just get him back right. All right, now at this point here, we'll, uh, we're ready to go back on the board with him. Simply, I can slide him over the board. Get everything all squared up again. Now, because those legs were hanging down, these legs don't get pulled through. We're going to leave them up, the leg holes up. So you can just take your fingers here and just kind of work them them legs up that allows for air to come up through and then that where they were laying last night that lets that not be skin on skin so we'll just get him nice and centered up here on the board again armholes look nice come back with our pins here on our feet and I also wanted to mention guys uh, about the dispatch hole in the fur you know it's just a 22 uh, you don't have to worry about sewing that hole up you'll never be able to find that hole the graders won't you'll be fine now if he's got a hole in him you know been shot with a big gun or something by all means sew that up and uh, you know make a presentation look good so anyway pin his legs here open our board back up Make sure he's good and centered on the board. And then uh, our two pins here at the bottom. That tail, that's just going to hang free there. Come back up to his head. Make sure he's good and squared up. And then uh, we're going to pin the ears forward on him. You can see we're just going to pin, pin him straight forward like that. See how nice of a presentation that looks. You can see the whole nice back. This coyote, better than the ears sticking out, all going every way. All we need is one pin right there. Once again, our arms here. And then the last thing I like to do is just take a fur brush and just a couple of rakes all the way down and just to, just to set that hair. All right, there we go, guys. Uh, we'll put that coyote back on the board. You know, five, six days, something like that, depending on the, uh, you know, the, the temperature. You can really tell whenever his nose, whenever his nose gets good and hard, he's dry. So uh, we'll hang him up here next to this other guy here. And let him dry. And uh, anyway, that's uh, that's coyote handling there. Uh, Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Till next time, guys.